Do you want to buy cheap auction off properties but don't know where to start? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you my top three auction websites that you can go to to find auction off properties. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q, and I create the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair experience into your own hands. If you're new to the channel, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows us to reach a wider audience. It allows YouTube to push this content within their algorithm and allows us to leave these lights on. Thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. So let's dive straight into the meat and the potatoes of this video because today I have a banger. Today we're talking about three of the top cheapest websites, well, not the cheapest, but the the best websites to go to when it comes to buying auction off properties now for those who don't know auction off properties is basically properties that you can be basically buy like eBay or any of those auction off websites so imagine a, a website like eBay but specifically for properties where you can find properties find the details of the properties and make a buyer's decision whether you want to buy it or not so yes let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video now, if you have anything derogatory in your credit report, I mean anything negative, charge-offs, late payments, bankruptcies, medical bills, guys, you name it, please go over to MyCreditApproved.com. It's the website and the software that I was telling, the, telling you about that allows you to put the full experience to your own hands. Guys, people are removing thousands of dollars worth of debt by themselves. They are no longer using credit repair companies. They are putting this information and this experience into their own hands and appreciating on a deeper level guys please go to mycreditapproved.com check out the software and start removing these items guys if you have anything derogatory on your credit report the first property we're going to talk about is called treasury.gov but before we actually go into the details of these websites i want to give you guys a disclaimer i want you guys to understand that you have to do your own due diligence when it comes to these properties these properties most of these websites have a as is by disclosure so that means that you have to do your own due diligence um it can cost you a lot more money if you don't you can find a bad deal you can find a bad property that can basically be an onion you know a property that you're not going to be able to get your money back on and it doesn't have enough cash flow um, possibilities within it or it's just not a good fit for you as a whole so you want to do your own due diligence and when you do your own due diligence you want to make sure that you have an opportunity to do your own walk you know you want to walk through your own properties to find any and every nuance that could possibly go wrong you know you want to check for roofs you want check for foundation you want to check for it. any type of details that can be pertaining to the property guys um because any and every situation can be different um i've been in the real estate space for quite some time and i do understand that buying real estate is like a treasure hunt you know you want to make sure that you are buying the best bang for your buck while uh, finding a good possible asset that you can actually invest your money into so yeah guys you want to do your own walkthrough you want to do a title search a title search is is going to give you a lot of clarity on on the past history pertaining to the property but also any available interest that can possibly still be pertaining to the property as well so what i mean by that is you have what is called en encompasses so an encompasses is basically any type of interest third-party interest that can still be attached to the property even though it's sold so for instance let me give you an example say if you go to treasury.gov you see a property on there for seven thousand dollars seven thousand dollar property and it seems like a good deal it's a nine 900 square foot property as a two three bedroom one bath but like it's a good deal but they have a title lien on the property and the lien on the property equals around $25,000. So you're thinking because what is listed on treasury.gov is $7,000, but in all actuality, you have to pay $32,000 because you have to pay the $7,000 to buy the property. You have to buy the attachment interest that's attached to the property as well, which is the 25%. So guys, you want to make sure that you are doing your own due diligence when it comes to these properties 
properties because like I said, most of these properties is as is. And you wanna make sure that you don't have any interest still lying around when it comes to any of these properties you're interested in. Okay, so like I said, the first property we're gonna talk about is called treasury.gov. I like treasury.gov is probably one of the most famous uh, property websites that you can go on uh, in regards to looking for auction uh, properties. Now, treasury.gov is, I like treasury because it's a government issue website. They do not have any buyer's premiums. So you don't have to pay any premiums for just for buying the property. And they list ma majority of the uh, encompasses. So if you see any properties that don't, doesn't list encompasses, that means that you have to do your own due diligence double. But even though they do show you all of the details when it comes to the pertaining interest, they you still have to do your own due diligence because like I said, I've been in the industry for a while and I've seen a lot of mistakes even when you are trusting these type of websites because they don't list everything all the time. And you're still 100% liable for whatever you do not find or you do not do your own due diligence on. Okay, so yeah, treasury.gov is a great website. Um, you It's basically um, straightforward. Like I said, they do not have any buyer premiums. The properties on there ranges differently. Uh, I've seen some on there all the way from 35,000 all the way up to 500,000. So it, it really just ranges um, depending on where you at and the location that you're interested in. Okay, number two. Number two is govdeals.com. Com. DoveDeals.com. I like the website as well. Um, it allows you to basically get a, a, a large variety of different properties. Um, but like I said, you want to do your own due diligence. You you definitely want to make sure that you are checking each and every variable when it comes to these type of properties. They do have a buyer's premium. I think that buyer's premium on GovDeals.com is still 8%. If I believe, I, I believe it, um, do your own due diligence on that as well. But make sure that the properties that you are checking on GovDeals.com have all of the due diligence. I do advise you to definitely do a walkthrough when it comes to that one particular company. Number three. Number three is Treasury Seize Property. So Treasury Seas Properties is interesting because they are properties that was owned by individuals that deflated on the law, so to speak, if you get what I'm saying. So, yes, um, Treasury Seas Properties is actually still on the website for treasury.gov, but it's, uh, it's its own special category. I am going to list the websites of these uh, three in um in the description below but so you can have the the direct link to the um individual page but nonetheless guys yes uh treasury siege properties is interesting because majority of them is a lot of high skill properties a lot of times when the, the treasury sees your properties for any type of criminal activity is usually someone that has a success uh, record when it comes to their industry so to speak so a lot of times they do do have high value properties they have high value assets they have so many different varieties I've seen condos on there I've seen multi units I've seen single family homes I've seen so many different but the price ranges on those type of properties can be pricey guys it, it really can it can range between a hundred thousand cash all the way up to four five six seven eight hundred thousand dollars cash for some of the properties that they have listed I do think that a lot of them are um, worth it but but like I said, they are higher value assets. So you want to make sure that if you are interested in the treasury siege properties, you do have a nice reserve set aside for those high value tier properties. Now I did say that we we're going to talk about three different websites, but I definitely wanted to give you guys an added one. And the bonus website that I wanted to um, give you guys was called Public Surplus. Public Store Plus is probably one of my favorite out of the three because it allows you to have a user-friendly experience when it comes to getting introduced to these auction buyer programs. So it definitely has a, um, a good user-friendly um, website. It's very easy to, um, to actually get started, to get everything that you need as far as get your registration done. Like I said, guys, it's very easy. It's very clear-cut. And I 
I don't think that anyone, even a, a beginner or a newbie, should have any issues getting registered and getting the ball rolling with any of those properties. They do have a bias premium. That's one of the caveats that I definitely wanted to give you guys when it comes to this property. I think the, the, the bias premium is 8.5% for uh, public surplus. But like I said, I think public surplus is one of those companies that's tailored for the introductory auction buyer. And they set up their business model and their website for that exactly so like i said yeah guys it's a it's a user-friendly website that allows you to get the ball rolling so um for reference the number one was treasury.gov number two was govdeals.com number three was treasury.gov but it was the subsection of treasury seized properties and the fourth was public surplus.com guys if you've seen or found any of this information helpful please like and subscribe to the channel like i said it actually help us reach a wider audience and allows you to like i said to push this content within the algorithm to let them know that we are actually relevant and people like um this information guys until next time please take care of your credit and take care of your health guys credit coach q out